hi Gemini let's see what messages will show up for you guys in case this resonates there will be a link in the description box to the extended to find out how is your person thinking feeling about you their next moves outcome advice love notes guidance from spirit and your future love so do check it out it'll be linked below as well as a bit about your finances so we have emotional loss and fertility here which is the empress it's like you're letting go okay it's i'm hearing shedding it's like you know shedding skin or shedding some i okay i don't know how to say this but it's like shedding the old self and you know moving towards something new um and that something new looks like it's you actually okay for some of you if you work online or if you have a business or something i i see that you're going to be getting you're going to be getting a lot of recognition for your work gemini a lot of people are going to be recognizing you a lot of people are going to be knowing who you are some of you could be taking care of your looks your health okay so it's like you did go through something emotional that brought you into this energy but i feel like gemini a lot of you you know this is like that feeling emotionally empty when it comes to something okay but with the fertility the empress energy there's a lot of potential of growth here so we will see what do we have for gemini please All right, Gemini, there could be somebody from the past who might come in your life, like somebody you've ended things with. This person might want to meet up with you. self-indulgence i see you saying no to somebody gemini i see you saying no to somebody because a lot of you are trying to focus on yourself you're trying to emotionally heal from something and let go of something especially if this was a relationship that i see you healing from and you know there may be somebody who will reach out but like i said i see you saying i see you saying no to this person or declining their offer which we will see because with the empress energy that could also just mean that a lot of people have their eyes on you um there is a romantic connection that could come along i'm definitely seeing that but i feel like for a lot of you it's just not about that connection you want somebody intelligent you want somebody who supports you you know you just don't want to waste your time what what is something you need to release so you're in that time period, Gemini, where I see you letting go of things, where I see you um, releasing things, okay, releasing people, releasing certain habits. Again, you know, I told you the vibe that I'm getting from your reading is that of, you know, shedding the old self. Um, so we will see. What do we have for Gemini?
luck is on your side. A win-win outcome is forecast. Something here that I see going in your favor, Gemini. Okay. Messages for Gemini. I feel like taking this card, so I'm going to take it. Oof, the Knight of Wands. Forward movement, determination to make something happen. Feeling very inclined to make something happen. Um, ooh, 10, 10. I can already see where it is going. Two, two together? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Uh, bottom of the deck is the chariot energy, which is lots of forward movement. Okay. Um, let me see if y'all can see the cards. Mm, all right. So, all right, Gemini. So, what I'm seeing here really for you guys is that um, there is something that could be confusing you, okay? Like, for some of you, there's a lot on your plate, there's a lot going on in your mind. You know, when you open a browser and there are so many tabs it's like you know you have all those tabs open in your mind um but i feel like you're feeling very um inspired to take action towards something or to make something happen in your life and this is a great time to put your energy and focus towards that you know the creative ideas that you may be getting because it's like a lot of you have realized that you're not wanting to sell yourself short anymore, okay? You're realizing your worth. It's like, okay, I see that I need to release certain things, which is also something here, you know, something you need to work on releasing to make space for the new, okay? For some of you, there could be a love connection coming in as well, but I kind of see you hesitant to open up to it. But I do see you interested in the person, okay? You may be hesitant to open up to it because you you feel like it's just something that may not appeal to you because it seems a little non-serious. But there is somebody showing up here, okay? I'm also getting that there's somebody very uh, somebody who's very attracted to you, okay? So... I feel like there are so many ups and downs in this reading, Gemini. It's like you're trying something and maybe in the past as well, you opened up yourself to something and then you regretted it. Then you opened up to something, then you regretted it. So there's a lot of back and forth in the energy or maybe you indulged in something and it, that didn't work out. And I feel like it was kind of like a cycle, like something kept repeating, okay? You're feeling drained. You're feeling exhausted. There's a lot of mental exhaustion that I see you in. But that mental exhaustion is also teaching you that there are certain things that I just don't want to be a part of anymore. There are certain things that I'm not going to open up myself to anymore. Okay. Um... Ten of Cups and the Sun caught together, that signifies a relationship that is being manifested. I feel like Gemini, there's some form of a good news coming your way, okay? And whatever this good news is, good news is you're going to be hearing it very soon, okay? I kind of see you detaching. I see you thinking more from logic. Some of you may feel like you want to sleep or you just want to take rest more, okay? Um, there are certain people, certain associations that you just don't want to be a part of. You just don't want to engage in it, okay? And I feel like your guard is up a little bit too. 
one more thing i'm getting here gemini is that there's something constantly on your mind like i don't know what exactly it is it is about money it is about love it is about whatever but it's like there's something on your mind constantly and it does look like you're you know you're trying to discern you're trying to navigate through this but you're constantly thinking about something and i feel like some of you are also working on something in your life like a new project um a new business venture whatever that might be for you okay um the thing here is that Gemini, this is not a time period to avoid something because if there is something that is a part of you or if there are certain feelings that are arising, um, it is mainly because I feel like it is your intuition, okay? It is your intuition that is trying to guide you forward, that is trying to perhaps um, take you forward, okay? There is definitely a cycle that is coming to an end. So one thing I see here is that if there's something stressing you out, you have to ask yourself, Gemini, because that's a part of your challenge. You have to let go of some burden that you're carrying. But it just looks like, you know, we at times have to realize that there are certain things that we cannot fix and there are certain things that we can fix. So with the world and the nine of pentacles a lot of you have to realize that there's a cycle that's coming to an end and you kind of have to close that chapter and work on yourself with the nine of pentacles this is the pre empress energy so i do feel like you know i see you in a good place mentally physically emotionally but in order to get there you kind of have to actually let go of something and you also have to let your guard down a little bit to new love because it's not just about closing a cycle it is also about being receptive and open to these new beginnings or changes with the sun and the ten of cups energy you know sun is the happiest card in the deck the sun card sometimes also means that something will be revealed to you okay so keep that in mind your outcome has lots of forward movement and awakening realization some of you could be becoming more spiritually enlightened or there is something about spirituality here that i am seeing okay some of you are working on yourself some of you are it's like you view your life and it's like you're weighing the pros and cons and this is your future energy so a lot of you might not be in this energy at this time okay uh, but there is, um, you know, lots of intuitive messages that are coming through your, you know, your higher um, self is trying to guide you forward with something, especially with the judgment energy. Judgment energy can at times talk about awakening or uh, realizing things. OK, Eight of wants to the magician is your advice from the reading keep moving forward gemini magician talks about it you know manifestation but it also talks about with the eight of wands awareness are you aware of what you're capable of or are you selling yourself short which i don't feel like you are selling yourself short but the eight of wands and the magician i'm hearing i'm hearing endless possibilities so this is something that has a lot of potential and has um potential of growth okay i see you doing financially good as well okay but i kind of feel like you're in this energy or you will be in this energy gemini where it's like you're not wanting to open too much um to love okay it's like it's like i'm fine being single kind of an energy here there is communication coming through as well with the eight of wands this reading is giving me a vibe that there could be a good news coming in your way or there's some form of news for some of you there were some limitations or blockages when it when it came to your money or something about your home or your possessions i feel like that's going to get resolved as well and i see a lot of focus on partnerships um business romantic and a sense of expansion in that okay for some of you, this could also just simply signify that you're going to be having options in love. Let's read for you the Empress energy because emotional loss here means what you're, um, what you're going through is temporary, okay? 
um, you know it is that crying over spilt milk at times kind of an energy so in order to pull ourselves out of this which is great because you have the Empress right next to it as an advice card okay but that is great in itself because I see that the Empress energy is a very powerful energy Gemini okay that is where you start you know it's it's like it has a lot of potential of growth you know it's about taking care and nurturing of um, nurturing those areas in your life where you can grow you can expand and letting go of the rest because emotional loss is an energy that keeps you down that pulls you down and the empress energy is something that pulls you up okay and fertility it also could talk about pregnancy for some of you or it just means that things are blooming okay it's i'm kind of seeing spring season so maybe uh for a lot of gemini's out there these changes that i'm seeing you know this this is also like this is a lot of sun and you know you have sunflowers here this could be something about spring season where you're going to be seeing a lot of changes in your life so um from now up until march april okay so let's see fertility and uh gemini i will be linking the reading about your person underneath the video to find out how are they thinking feeling about you their next moves outcome of ice love notes guidance from spirit and your future love uh, and a bit about your finances so do check it out it'll be linked below through this card the manifestation of growth is on the horizon you're the creator and the seeds that have been planted in the past whether they were happiness comfort abundance prosperity family children ideas or even thoughts are now ready to give birth into your world so things will start to surface for you okay be patient as you watch your seeds take root and grow nurture them as they become strong and healthy open yourself to the life force of the universe this card also represents femininity and mother earth who's calling to you the arms of her beauty are reaching out she wants to embrace you on her seashores mountains forests, gardens and so go to her and meet her halfway this isn't the time for you to be inconsiderate possessive forceful or pushy act from the loving space of your heart center Take care of yourself and help others. The Empress. So, beautiful, beautiful message for Gemini. That's it. Those were the messages that showed up for you. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And check out the extended for further clarifications if you would like. Take care and bye-bye.